Murphy, Big 2 News. Well, families continue to grieve tonight in wake of that mass shooting at an elementary school in Uvalde. The conversation many are having tonight is focused on children, their anxieties, and how to help them cope after traumatic events. ABC Big 2's Rob Took joins us now live in Odessa. Yeah, Rob, you talked to an expert about helping children to process all this grief. Well, that's right, Madeline and Carson. People process grief in many different ways. Children are no different. Tonight, the focus is on how parents can effectively communicate with their children about traumatic situations. The school shooting raises an important question. How are children responding and reacting to traumatic events like this? Trauma affects youth by affecting their ability to function in their typical capacity. Chandra Coleman is the program coordinator at the Family Resiliency Center of the Permian Basin. So it may make it difficult for them to return to school, to interact with other people. Um, just to be in public places, sometimes it can just feel overwhelming to them because they live with a fear that something like that will happen again. The center was created after the mass shooting in Odessa on August 31st, 2019. For those who experienced Odessa's mass shooting, the most recent mass shooting can cause something called re-traumatization for survivors of all ages. So they can actually relive the experience that they had in 2019 because of the similarities, which in this case were simply that it was a mass shooting. As a parent, the first step towards healing for you and your child is... Before we tell them that it's okay to not be okay and that it's okay to feel feelings of sadness, confusion, fear, anxiety, that we as adults take a moment and recognize that we also have these feelings and that we may need help to process. But bottom line, Chandra says it's okay to feel that way. Here are some important ways to communicate with your children about grief and tragedy. Have honest and open conversations. Review safety emergency plans. Encourage kids to talk about feelings. Talk to a professional and recognize changes in behavior. They know the shooting happened, so we don't want to lie to them or pretend like it didn't. We're not distracting them from reality. We're just giving them a place to allow their emotions to settle down a little bit. And Chandra said it's important to find positive habits for you and your child to work through those emotions, whether it's journaling, music, board games, even sports, something creative that can serve as a distraction. In Odessa, Rob Tuke, ABC Big 2 News.